Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to use file connector in Mule application. I will switch to any point studio for demo. I have created a Mule application filed as demo. I have already added the file connector. You can add the file connector using add modules. From here, in first flow, I'm using on new or update file operation. This is a message source. Let me show you the all the operations. So file connector have these operations on new or update file, copy, create directory, delete, list, move, read, rename and write operation. On new or update file operation reads the file from a particular directory. So let me show you the properties and configurations. Here is connector configuration. Here we can specify the connection working directory. So I have provided this working directory. This operation needs the input directory. We can change the scheduling strategy. Right now I'm using default strategy. We can use either Chrome based or fixed frequency. I'm using fixed frequency. File will be pulled every second, every thousand millisecond. When file comes to the this directory, input directory, mule slash input directory, the event will come to the source, the event source here. We can also specify the post processing actions. So after processing the file, either we can delete the file or we can keep it. So by, by default is false. That means file will stay there in mule input directory. True means the file will be deleted automatically after processing. We can also move the file to a directory. I have provided the directory name archive. That means file will be moved to the archive directory and you can rename the file as well. So I have provided this data view expression, data view script. So I'm using the file name from attribute.file name. I'm getting the file name and then I am appending the year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and PM, AM. Then at the end, I am adding the dot extension. I will run this application. Application has been started. Let me clear the console. This flow will trigger when I will add the file or update a file inside input folder. An input folder is inside mule folder. So I'm going to add a file inside the mule slash input folder. So let me show you the file first. It is a members file. It is Komala separated file. This is the header line and these are the two records. So I will copy this file inside slash mule slash input folder. Once I add this file, the flow will trigger, event will come to here and this flow will start and file will be processed. So we can see this, we got the payload in JSON format. Because here in this logger, I am printing the payload after converting to the JSON type. And that's why I am getting here full payload. ID name 100 debit 200 Todd. At the end, I am saying file processed. So I am printing here file processed. Now, after post-processing, 
we specified that delete the file so files would have been deleted from the input folder let's check it come back to input folder and file is not there we also specified move this file to the archive folder so this file has been moved to the archive folder let's check it let's go to the archive folder and here is the file we gave the members dash year month day hour minute second and am pm so pm and right now is 22 17 so 22 is a 10 pm so this is our 10 pm and this is the current date Now in this file demo read flow, I'm using HTTP listener slash read endpoint. Here I'm using read operation. So I will read the file by calling slash read endpoint. Here I'm using file read operation. So I'm using same configuration. Here I'm providing the path path of the file that I'm going to read. So I'm going to read slash mule slash input slash member dot csv. This is the file I'm going to read. But this time flow will not trigger automatically. I'm going to call this listener, HTTP listener by invoking this endpoint. And then I'm going to read the file. And here I'm just uh, Printing the payload in JSON format. At the end, I'm saying file processed. And here I'm using the one more file operation move. Once the file is processed, at the end, I'm calling the move operation. Using move operation, I'm moving the file from input directory to the archive directory. So here we specify the source path. So this is the input directory where file exists and here's the name of the file and here we have to provide the target directory where we need to move this file here we can rename the file name so either we can keep the file name same like members.csv or we can rename this so i'm using this data view expression to rename the file name from member to this name where I am taking the file name from the attributes dot file name, getting the first part and then appending the date time. At the end, I am appending the dot extension. I will stop the application and I need to stop this flow. Because we are referring to the same source directory, so I have to stop this flow. So I'm changing the initial state to stopped. Save it and run the application again. Application has been started. Let me clear the console. Now I'm going to put a new file inside slash mule slash input. And I will add this members.csv file there. So I will copy the same file from here and copy inside input directory. Now to read that file, I have to invoke this read endpoint. So I will go to the postman. And I will invoke this endpoint. Click send button. We got the response. 
So here we are reading the file from this directory, input directory, we are reading members.csv file. Then we are printing the message in JSON format. So this is the payload of the file. So let's see console. So we are getting this in JSON format, the payload. And then I'm saying file processed. So that's how we are printing this file processed. And at the end, I'm moving the file from input directory to the archive directory. And we are renaming the file before moving. So let's see that input directory. We don't have any file because this file got moved to the archive directory. So I'll go to the archive directory. And here is the file that got moved. So this is the right now is 22.25. So this is 10 p.m. means 22.24. So this is the file that we moved it. So this is the payload. Now I will show you the write operation. I have created flow file dash demo write flow. Here I'm using the slash write endpoint to invoke this flow. I'm logging the payload here. Here I'm setting the variable file name. So this is the file name. So I'm giving the file name member dash that I'm appending the date time. So I'm appending the year, four digit year, month, day, hour, and then AM, PM. At the end, I'm giving the extension dot CSV. Now here I'm using choice router. I'm using this choice router for the header. So I'm sending a query parameter here, first record. If it is true, then I'm converting the payload to CSV format. And I'm not providing any header attribute here. That means header also will be written to the file. If first record is false or it is not true, in that case, I'm converting the payload to the CSV format and I'm not writing the header in this case. So I'm writing the header only in case the query parameter value first record is true. And at the end, I'm using write operation. So here I'm giving the directory path and then the file name. This is the file name. I built the file name here. The write mode, we can specify a different mode. Overwrite is default mode. That means file will be overridden. It will be replaced. Create new, it will create always new file. Append, it will append the payload inside the file. So I'm using append mode here. And that's why I'm actually using here this logic to write the header only one time and I skip the header for the next time. You could have different logic to do this, to avoid the writing header many times. But right now I'm using query parameter to do the same. So our application is running. Let me clear the console. Now, this is the path where I'm going to write the file, output slash. So let's go to the directory, output. And right now I don't have any file here. I'm going to postman. Here I'm going to write the file first time. I 
I'm sending this payload. Member ID 100, name David, member ID 200, member name Todd. There's two record and member record I'm sending here. And for parameter, I'm sending first records is equal to true because I'm calling this first time. Right now file is not there. So it will write the header as well. Because it will come inside this. And here default value of header is true. So it will write the header as well. So let me invoke this. We got the result. Now let me go to the console. We can see that we are logging the payload here. And that's how I'm seeing here this. So here I'm getting file writing completed and this one I'm getting from this logger, file writing completed. So let me go to the this directory, output directory. So this is output directory. We just wrote the file at 22 hour, 10 plus 12 is 22. I'm not writing minute and second here only date and hour and then a.m. p.m. So 10 p.m. equivalent to 22 and that's what we're seeing here. This is the file we have written. Now if I will go to the postman and invoke the same method again, we will get the header again. I invoke the right endpoint again. Let me go to the output directory. So we got the header here. It was already there. Then we got the header again. And this is not the right way to append the file. So I'm going to delete this file. And I'm going to call the right endpoint again. So we have the payload. Now I will call the write operation with first record as equal to false. So I'm not sending the first record query parameter value true. And here I'm sending the body 300 James, 400 Henry, click send. We got the response and here is the file. Let me see what got appended. Here we got the 300 James and 400 Henry and there is no header. So this header logic I implemented using query parameter, but you can have different way to implement. When we are appending the file using write operation, we have to Make sure that we are not writing the header again and again. So in this video, I showed you how to use the on new or update file operation and how to use read operation. And at the end, how to use the write operation with the append mode and writing the header only at the top. This is all in this video. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.